Hey, Gospel Guitarist here, and today I just wanted to mention changes I've made to my Gibson Les Paul High Performance. This is a 2017 guitar, um, back when they kind of decked out the faded model, made some changes. I didn't like the way they had totally decked it out in chrome. Everything was chrome, uh, except the pick card. <laughs> And it was a snap-on pick guard. So let me go over some of the changes uh, to make it look more normal to me um, and everybody else. As you can see, it just looks like an ordinary Les Paul, but for some reason it has dots for your position markers. And um, I, it's kind of a throwback to the earlier models. I don't know where they came up with just using the dots, but anyway. Starting at the headstock up here, we have our G-Force tuners. And they've been on and off this guitar while I've learned to master everything you're supposed to know about this tuning system. Um, this was not developed by Gibson. It's gotten a bad rap since Gibson put it on their guitars, calling it robot guitars and all these kind of things. But Tronicle is a company of its own making. Why they even allow Gibson to put their name and G-Force on here is beyond me, but I wouldn't have made that agreement. Um, too many people did not like the tuning system because they didn't know what they were doing with it. That's the bottom line. You got to know what you're doing with it in order for it to work right. Otherwise, you want to rip it off and throw it in the trash or sell it for 100 bucks. This is a $300 unit. So I figured I'm the one that's broken, not the unit. So I kept working at it and found all the information and learned how to use it right, and I love it. It's a lot of fun to use because I like to jam on all two types of things and tunings, and it's a little bit quicker for me that way. The other thing this guitar has is a shaved all-access neck. Not their new modern with the carb right here, and you still have a shelf piece. This is totally the Alex Lifeson access neck right here. Um, they can't I don't know, they don't call it that, but that's, to me, that's, this is the Alex Lifeson cut. This is what he wanted on his signature guitar. So as you can see, you can see the pores, because um, I've got polish filling in the pores. Um, you can also see that it's not really too faded anymore. It started to polish up. The neck is wearing down nicely. Um, it's still very smooth to the touch, but the, the coloring is is starting to fade off as you can see there it's a maple neck and mahogany body and if anybody wants to debate it you can just look at the edge of the guitar and you can tell that it's a maple neck with a maple cap is the same color so not all of them have maple necks but this one apparently has a maple neck um, Kept it, I did keep the high performance truss art cover on there. I think it kind of gives it a hot rotted look on the headstock. It's got the uh, titanium adjustable nut, which has been really nice. I've had zero tuning issues and stickage or anything like that. Tuners work nice and smooth and fast. The other thing they did with this guitar is they widened the neck a little bit so you have more string spacing. So this is more of a shredder neck, it's not so tight and close like a normal Les Paul. Um, I love this neck. I wish they would institute this neck on all of their standards. It's such a fast neck. Then I did keep the uh, gnarled switch craft uh, knob on there. I like the feel of it. It's nice and it looks good. And it goes with the black chrome theme. And I uh, took the chrome rings off that were on top of the black rings yes they took the metal rings and just you know put it right on top so once you remove them because i don't like the chrome with the chrome um if there are chrome rings and black pickups which you may have seen in my other videos i had it set up with some seymour duncans for a while so um but i can't handle the all chrome thing i just don't like it um it's got your titanium saddles with locking bridge and tailpiece. Um, I replaced the snap-on pick guard, which the little tabs that slip into the holes in your pickup rings broke off you know, after like a year and a half or so. 
Uh, so I replaced it recently with this. I played it for a while without a pick card at all. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and put this pick card on. As I did a three ply to dress it up just a little bit nicer because when it's just a solid black one ply, no, doesn't look as cool to me. And it's nice to have a real, you know, pick card on it that doesn't fly off when your hand hits it repeatedly. <laughs> I took the chrome knobs that came on it off and I put these chrome top on there. Normal Gibson pickup uh, or normal pickup. Um, yeah, can't speak this morning. It's too early. I need to finish my copy. Um, took the UFO chrome knobs off and put normal knobs on and I replaced the plastic jack plate with the chrome jack plate steel. And the guitar is polishing up. If you look at the headstock, um, if I don't get the glare, you can tell the hair. <laughs> it's shining up. I like to polish my guitars. I like to keep them clean. So this one is all getting all buffed up now. This is all starting to shine. You can still feel the wood and still feel the pores. and But it, it looks like, it, I call it a sleeper. Because it looks like just kind of a downplayed Les Paul. No binding, nothing fancy, not even the position markers are normal. It's a very sleeper guitar. It's got uh, Gibson 61 pickups in it. They're pretty hot. Um, I can't go over the whole history of the pickups, but they're um, burst buckers. But they're like wound up slightly different, and I guess they're hand wound and over wound. But, um, don't quote me on that. Um, there's some research out there that you can look up on other videos for all the details on the 61s. I like them. They're pretty good pickups. So I'm staying with them. Uh, at least for now. <laughs> so yeah, as a, it looks like a sleeper guitar. Um, like wow. But the other thing I've also replaced on it is all the electronics inside. Um, they've been replaced. The standard board uh, that came in the Gibson with the Gibson uh, Quick Connect system in there, all that came out. Cut the quick connectors off the 61s and I put in an Obsidian, which I have a video on, uh, an Obsidian wireless control system is installed in this guitar. Um, Oh, and it has uh, 50s and 60s switchable wiring on each pickup. So I usually run uh, 60s on my bridge pickup and I run the 50 wiring on my neck pickup because I like to dial down the neck pickup because um, I like to do finger style stuff and clean guitar on the neck pickup. So I want that option to keep all my nice clean highs when I turn it down. So it's a cool system. Um, that's pretty much it for my Gibson Les Paul 2017 High Performance. It looks like an ordinary, boring kind of Gibson. No, not much flash going on here, but it's a very handy studio guitar. It's my go-to um, when it comes to just picking up something and jamming. Um, I can do anything on this guitar. So I thought I'd do this little review that if you can call it a review. Um, the other thing that's in the shot here is my special product that I came up with because I'm 62 and my memory cannot seem to memorize all these stupid tunings. So I put my own mug together that you can buy from my store and it will help you to locate the different tunings on the G-Force. If you don't like the name G-Force, I do have, I, this will be made with Tronicle as well. Um, so that's it, just a little overview of my baby here. You can see the cut right here, how that is a totally different cut. And it's more like a Schecter neck joint. Um, Gibson does not own the design on the neck joint. Um, Schecter's been doing this kind of thing for a long time. And I've owned a lot of Schecters. So, as you can see, it's got a pretty good neck angle on here. So, that's my baby.
it was it's a dream to play if you find one used somewhere and it still looks original don't let the freaky appearance of all that chrome throw you you can just take it off and do what i did make it look like a normal les paul so that's my baby thanks for watching and uh click the subscribe and the like button if you like the little overview here and i will catch you in the next video thanks a lot